आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ टुडे आर क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फॉर विच फंक्शन आर आइडेंटिकल द फर्स्ट वन इज कॉस एक्स एंड जी एक्स इज वन अपॉन रूट अंडर वन प्लस टेन स्क्वायर एक्स राइट सो वी नो डेट फॉर टू फंक्शन टू बी सिमिलर टू बी आइडेंटिकल द थ्री कंडीशन देर आर थ्री कंडीशन द फर्स्ट वन इज फॉर आइडेंटिकल फंक्शन वी हैव थ्री कंडीशन द फर्स्ट वन इज दे हैव same domain second one is they have same range and third one is they should be equal to each other right so these are the three conditions that should meet to be to make uh, two functions identical so the first function so let us find out the range and domain for the two functions the first function is f of x is equals to cos x now we know that the maximum value of cos x is 1 and the minimum is minus 1 so we can say that the range is range is from minus 1 to 1 with close bracket right and domain will be they can be any real number x cos x is defined for any real number so the range is r the second function is the second function is gx which is equals to 1 upon root under 1 plus 10 square x 1 upon root under 1 plus 10 square x and there is an identity that says sec square x minus 10 square x is equals to 1 so 1 plus 10 uh, 1 plus 10 square x will be sec square x so 1 upon root sec square x will give us 1 upon mo mod of sec x and we know 1 upon sec x is called cos x so mod of cos x now mod of cos x means there should be only positive values of cos x so this is possible only in the range 0 to 1 because minus 1 is negative so we will have our range as 0 to 1 right and the domain will now become since this is for cos x the range is for cos x but our actual function was in terms of tan x so we know that we cannot put a value of x such that this term this whole term will become undefined right so our tan x tan is undefined at uh, odd terms of pi by 2 odd multiple of pi by 2 because we can see that uh, pi by 2 2 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 4 pi by 2 right so this will give you pi by 2 only this will give you pi this will give you 3 pi by 2 and this will give you 2 pi so for pi and 2 pi our tan is 0 so we can take that take those values of x but for pi by 2 and for 3 pi by 2 our tan theta will have a infinity value that is undefined undetermined you can see that here our pi by 2 coefficient is 1 and here the coefficient of pi by 2 is 3 so we can see say that odd multiples of pi by 2 will give us a undefined value of 10 so we can say that uh, odd odd will be 2n plus 1 pi by 2 so the x can take any values but not 2n plus 1 pi by 2 so we will write r minus 2n plus 1 pi by 2 so this will be our range for the second function that is for gx now for these functions to be identical their range should match to each other right and their domain should also match but here we can see that uh, uh, here the domain is all real numbers but here uh, we have excluded some values right so to make them similar what we will do is that in the in the second function our range is 0 to 1 and in the first first function our range is from minus 1 to 1 so we know that uh, cos x have value of 0 and 1 only in the quadrants uh, 0 and 1 is a positive value so in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant our cos x will be positive right so from here we can see that cos x will be between 0 to 1 only in these quadrant so now writing the intervals for these quadrants uh, will be 0 this will be pi by 2 and this will be pi only 2 pi by 2 and this is 3 pi by 2 so and this is 2 pi right so our range will now become for x x could be between 
zero to pi by two, zero to pi by two. But now in our second function, we can see that we have restricted our domain to real numbers minus odd multiples of pi by two. So here one pi by two that is a odd multiple of pi by two. So we cannot take pi by two. So we will uh, make an open bracket here, right? Union. The second interval will be from three pi by two to two pi. So we cannot again we cannot include an odd multiple of pi by two. So three pi by two will have an open bracket, two, two pi, two pi with a closed bracket. Because at pi by two tan theta will become undefined, and we don't want that, right? So to generalize this uh, this interval, to generalize this domain, we should add and subtract two two pi. We should subtract two pi. From both the sides, then we will get zero to pi by two. Union three pi by two minus two pi will will be minus pi by two to zero. So from here we can see that uh, we can generalize uh, the x as now from pi by two to minus pi by two, and that is what our range, right? Now we will add and subtract. 2n pi 2n pi on both the sides to get our generalized x for the two functions right so 2n pi minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 plus 2n pi right so now this is the generalized domain for both functions to be identical and we should have the range in an increasing order so we will write minus pi by 2 2 pi, right? So pi by 2, and then we will add plus 2n pi on both sides to generalize the x for the two functions. Then we will get 2n pi minus pi by 2 and 2n pi plus pi by 2. So if we restrict our x into this interval, then only our f of x and g x would be identical functions. So that is what our question. Thank you. क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ से लेके नीट आई आई टी जेई मेन्स और एडवांस के लेवल तक 10 मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर